draw you in and manipulate you very well. They just don't see it because they're not suspecting it. I think it's actually really funny that these young guys like this older woman. She's my mom. I think it's really, it plays well for her though, that Mike thinks she's attractive, that Will thinks she's attractive. Sherry, any way you look at it, is hot. I think Cheryl is a threat. Uh, a lot of people on the show view her as a sort of mother figure. What's that, French toast? Yeah, have some, please. Uh, if you look at someone like Cheryl, she's basically someone everybody likes right now. <laughs> In the end, she could be a much greater threat than Nicole is. I don't think this game is ever going to end. <laughs> So far, Cheryl and Nicole each have one vote for eviction. Let's reopen the diary room door as Hardy and Monica go in to cast their votes. I formed more of a one-on-one -on -one relationship uh, with Nicole than I had an opportunity to do with Cheryl. Nicole would be a threat for me down the line if she continued to stay in the house. I honestly wish that I didn't have to vote either one of them out because I, I, I really like them both. I vote to evict Nicole. I vote uh, to evict Cheryl. Unfortunately. Let me clarify the voting. There are three votes to evict Nicole, one to evict Cheryl. Meanwhile, Mike's reign as Big Brother's first head of household was tempered by the daunting task of nominating two house guests for eviction. Mike thought he could oust Nicole by also nominating Cheryl, a house favorite and friend. But for how long? I think it's fair that he nominated me. But Mike, we're, we're going to have a talk. And I think he deserves that too. You know, it's not that I don't like you. It's out of the 12 people, someone's got to go. It's quite obvious what you're doing, and that's fine. And I know what's going on with Will and probably Shannon and... I'm not in any alliance, if that's what you're saying. And it leaves a pretty easy choice. Who do you want around? Yeah, Nicole's gotta go. They don't care to know anything about me. They don't ask anything. Like Hardy said to me. <laughs> he said, I wish they knew you like I know you. I can walk out of here, and I'm going to hold my head high. Great, okay. but that's not how to win this game. You cut me down, and you, you basically pillaged me in front of everyone. You want to keep the ethics, and you want to go home to your husband, and I have a lot of respect for that. That's great, but that doesn't fit in here, and you know that. I've virtually assured uh, her exit by nominating Sherry, who is clearly one of the most popular people in the house. Don't worry, there's no chance. People are a little concerned because I think Mike's plan... Uh, with the nominees is, is kind of almost backfiring. She's ready to go. And, you know, I keep thinking, heck, it could be me. You never know. I told so the pissed off you have no idea. Well, the funny thing is my relationship with Cheryl has strengthened since I've nominated her. She really has no ill feelings towards me. <laughs> I know. Just kill him. I'm mad as hell. I wish to God I had gotten out of hell's hole. That's what I was thinking last night. Oh, my like, God, you have no idea. Since they use me, and what they've done is me up. I don't really see myself being evicted, not even nominated. You promise each other whoever stays in here takes them down. Oh, I know I am. Promise. And you know, and you know why? Promise. Oh, I promise. It's time to check in with Mike on his last day as this week's head of household. Hi, Mike. Hi. I just want to clarify for our viewers and make sure you know that the conversation we're having right now cannot be heard by your fellow house guests. Okay. You know that, right? Yeah, So sure. you can speak candidly to me here. Okay. All, All right. right. I want to ask you, you were so sure at nomination time that pitting Nicole against Cheryl would guarantee Nicole's eviction. Thought being, everyone loves Cheryl, right? Right. Do you still feel that way? Uh, I still feel that way. I do strongly feel Sherry will... Uh, remain in the house, but I do feel that Nicole swayed uh, a few people in the house, and I think the vote is going to be very close, and I wouldn't be surprised if my tie-breaking vote was, was the deciding factor. Deciding factor, you feeling that Nicole is still going to be out of there tonight? 
Yes, I do feel Nicole will leave, but I think the vote's going to be a lot closer than I thought a week ago. How did Nicole manage to sway people, do you think? Uh, she played the sympathy card very heavily. She played upon the fact that uh, some of the people in the House, including myself, didn't really give her a chance. And she was judged unfairly because, uh, you know, she came in like gangbusters and we didn't give her a chance to really express herself and get to know her. And I feel that some of the women in the House um, were quite sympathetic to that. And I think she might have gotten a few votes that way. Well, Mike, after being so open about wanting Nicole out, how will it affect you if she stays? If she stays, uh, I'm in a lot of trouble. Uh, I will be a marked man for sure. Um, she doesn't think very highly of me. The little speech she just gave was pretty much directed at me, uh, maybe a couple other people, but it, it, the words, you know, did kind of pierce. I know she was speaking to me and that's fine. Um, it will definitely sway a lot of momentum uh, out of my favor and uh, it will, perhaps shorten my stay here in the house if she remains. I'm, I'm very nervous that, that uh, she might have squeaked out a victory. All right, let's say your wish comes true and Cheryl is the one that gets to stay. If she stays, do you think it's payback time for you because you nominated her? Absolutely not. I feel that Sherry and I have grown very close through this process. I think she understood the strategy. I think she respected the strategy. She knew she was very likable. I think she's been a little nervous the last couple of days because it has been swaying a little bit in uh, Nicole's direction. But I feel that we have bonded, especially in the last 48 hours. I've you know, assured her that I've tried to get as much support in the house for her, which has caused a lot of infighting and arguments and so on and so forth. And I'm sure the nation has watched. And um, I think that her and I will be very close from here on out. And I consider uh, her definitely an ally. Last quick question. Okay. Who would you like to see as the next head of household and why? I would like to see Will or Shannon be the next head of household. I feel that those are the two people I've bonded with the most. Uh, even Krista, you know, through this whole difficult period with Justin leaving the house, I feel I've bonded with her. And those are three people that I could virtually guarantee that I would not be nominated. And I'm, I'm nervous about a couple other people, but I'm hoping it's one of them. Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. And you can rejoin your housemates. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Is Mike's strategy working? Let's enter the diary room one last time as Autumn and Kent cast their votes. Cheryl is a wonderful lady. Uh, she is used to having a, a, a lot of fun in her life, but she's also someone who uh, is used to kind of having her own way. I really like Cheryl. This is not about her. It's about a strategic move to shift the powers that be in this house. Unfortunately, she was put in this situation by people that she thought maybe she could trust, but she can't. I vote to evict Sherry. I vote to evict Cheryl. The eviction is just moments away. Will it be Nicole or Cheryl? Who will stay? Who will go? Find out next. Big Brother is on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. But to see what goes on in the house 24-7, subscribe to the Big Brother live video stream on the net. Just go to CBS.com and order now. Tonight's nominees for eviction are a twice-divorced mother of two from Florida and an Atlanta newlywed. One thing's for sure, for either Nicole or Cheryl, the honeymoon in the Big Brother house is about to be over. We've now heard from six house guests. Three want Nicole out. Three want Cheryl out. We have not heard from Krista and Bunky. Their votes may make all the difference. We've kept the nominees in suspense long enough. Hello, house guests. The wait is finally over. Let's reveal the results. By a vote of five to three, Cheryl, you are now evicted from the Big Brother house. Don't cry. I get to eat. <laughs> I think I want to call your couch. Okay. Oh. You're a great person. I'm so glad I've known you. Excuse me. On the back of a heart, okay? You're going to get that. Don't worry. You're going to get that. <laughs> okay, Such a great lady. Y'all, I'm really... I get... Ooh. <laughs> 